Well, I think there were quite a few people uh, writing in, in Manx dialect. I mean, like uh, Kathleen Farragher and, and uh, various others that, that, that have done in, in, at different times. And some managed to get it uh, extremely well. Um, some, it's kind of like, like the, you, you've got Cod Irish, well, it's, it's sort of a Cod Manx thing. Um, but T. Brown, I, I don't think really, it, it's, it's not kind of a, a affected um, dialect. It, it really, it does actually sound quite real and, 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 uh, uh, and believable, uh, which I think is quite uh, something. Um, it's very easy to stray into um, um, the, 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 a kind of a... Uh, a parody of, of, of Manxness and I don't think he really does that I think he, he just captures the real spirit of, of, of how uh, generations past talk although uh, everyone when they look back at things and, and imagine things will, will view things in a particular way so it may be I'm looking back in, uh, with uh, road, rose uh, tinted uh, I was going to say rose tinted spectacles but rose tinted earphones perhaps <laughs>